Hey everyone, my name is Chrissy and today we're going to talk about the new features in career mode in EAFC24. We'll also talk about a few things that sadly didn't make it to the game. Players can now collide with the ad boards on EFC24. They can recover when on slow speed, but on very high speed, they can fall to the other side of the ad boards. What do you think about this new addition? Do you like it? First off, we're going to start off with manager career. In EAFC24, we're getting new, a few new features that sound very promising and interesting. Apart from the additional customization possible, if you decide to create a new manager instead of picking Pep Guardiola or Jose Mourinho, this year we'll be able to have a view of the pitch from the manager point of view. Tactical vision gives us also a more advanced and custom way to change tactics during the game based on how your team is performing. Also, something that we were missing for many years and it's now finally back, coaching staff. As a manager, you require a team of experienced coaching staff to help you win titles, isn't it? In EAFC 24, we will now be able to pick and hire coaches to train our goalkeepers, defenders, midfielders and strikers. This will provide additional bonus and boosts for players based on their performance. Better and more experienced coaches will mean better and faster development, of course, for a player. But if you are starting off with uh, Reckham FC and you want to lead them to glory, then you will have limited finances and in the first season you might not be able to hire the best coaches and the development of the staff will be a little bit less experienced. Another new future will be match preparation which is split into three categories training plans, pre-match reports, and match-ready training. If you've played earlier editions of FIFA, you might recall that sharpness and fit fitness were crucial for players' performance at some point. Now we can manage each player individually before a match day to make sure that they're physically and also mentally fit to play for a game. For an example, if you put a player on all out of energy, the chances of them getting injured or running out of cinema to perform within the next game ahead are pretty high. EFC of course is very far away from being even close to Football Manager, but with a pre-match report this year, we'll be able to choose how a team plays against a certain opponent depending on their playstyle. Whether the opposite team is good in pace and counterattacks gives us the chance to counterplay that and properly defend against it. Now, match-ready match training will play a crucial role on how your players will perform during the game. Depending on how well you do on your training exercises, your players might replicate the same action in-game and be able to score or perform different defending scenarios and so on and so on. One thing is for sure, we will spend a lot of time in training exercises this year, but it should pay off big time. Jumping off to player career mode, from what we've seen so far, there won't be many changes in the cinematics of player career mode this year. When you get signed for a club, for an example, when you practice or when you get picked at a starting 11 and so on and so on, a very, very nice and long-awaited future will be the player agent. As the name states, you will have your private agent to which you can give the task to help you sign for your dream team. The agent will give you specific objectives and style of play of the club you want to sign as your main goal and all you have to do is follow and complete them in order to make your players shine at your desired destination. This, in my opinion, will significantly increase the interest in this mode as up until now we're only able to submit a transfer request for teams to approach us and we wait on a random for somebody to offer us a contract. Now there are a total of three things I would like to talk about that we would have loved to see in the player career mode, but we will not. And those are different contracts, starting off your career in an academy and the better player rating system during matches. Let's just, just discuss them one by one. About the contracts, adding a contract length is something I would have loved to see in player career mode. For an example, also the chance to pick your goal or clean sheet percentage based on a your based and get a bonus performance players should be allowed to have control and choice of how long they would play for a certain club and under what conditions 
at the moment we can request the transfer in literally every transfer window and leave. The only new addition is the club offering you to raise your salary. This will completely improve the gameplay and make the mode more entertaining to play. Sadly, it will not be added into the futures of EFC 24 this year. Now, Academy. Academy is something I believe all of us wanted to see in this mode. I mean, starting off in an Academy and getting called off for the first team, uh, or starting off in the B team, I feel like this is really one of the most simple and important things, and yet the game fails to deliver and adding it to make the experience of player mode more realistic. All football players start off their careers in an academy and make their way through either one alone reaching the u21 and b teams in order to climb their way up to a first team football we had a similar thing in fifa 18 and 19 with a career mode of alex hunter uh, even for a little bit we were able to play in an academy and see how the player progressed before he got signed by an actual club now the third thing i would like to talk about is change to player rating system during a match Last year I noticed that scoring barely boosted off my rating, for an example I've had a few matches with a hat trick and barely reached a maintain a rating of 8.0. Assists were of course more helpful but in overall it will be the best if the rating system changes a little bit. What I dislike the most, I hope it will get changed in EA FC 24, is team possession. As the player controlling alone it is almost impossible to maintain over 60 percent of team position even if you're just passing the ball in your own field for a few minutes and i don't believe it should be included as a player requirement at all but what are your thoughts and opinions on all, on all of those three things not being added in the game please let me know in the comments below a very nice future we'll get to see this year in the form of cinematics in a player it is player of the season and ballon d'or ceremony cutscenes um, have you ever felt lazy to play old games and simulated a few during the season leading you to your player barely making it to 6.0 rating and very poor match performance? Yeah, maybe we'll stop doing so, so we can make sure to wear that fancy suit and walk out as the number one player of the year. I really appreciate everyone watching this video. I know I probably left some things out, but I would love to discuss what you guys think about all of these new features in the game. Honestly, I am for once very excited to see different changes and I believe the game might bring that. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and possibly subscribing to the channel for any future notifications. See you soon with more content in EFC 24. Bye!